break my cousin's heart and steal from me, cool. Let's break and steal your happy life. All of you have a wonderful day and a good night. Recently, this came to an end, and a buddy advised that I put it here as a last farewell to those who have followed me. So when I found out about my cousin's relationship with this man, it had been going on for quite some time. Everyone despised him since he only showed up when he was in desperate need of anything or when he wanted to have with another person. From now on, we'll refer to him as John. My cousin and my uncle would have regular fights and would break up and then reunite as the years went by. I didn't say anything to him because, well, what was the purpose of saying anything to begin with? She has matured and is now able to make decisions for herself on a regular basis. When she questioned about my recommendations, I gave them to her without hesitation. So, following the divorce of her and her husband, she and I decide to move in together. In order to save money on rent, and since we aren't quite ready to live on our own at the moment, yes, she is still with him at this time. As a result, they leave me alone at home while they go out to lunch, which I am perfectly okay with at this time in my life. My wait time is filled with cleaning the home and playing Catherine on my PlayStation 3. She ultimately calls me in tears to tell me that this bag has asked her to be his side chick since he is already married. It gets late and they haven't returned. I see that she is depressed and is searching for someone to comfort her, so I invite her to accompany me home, where we will spend the rest of the night doing anything she wants to cheer herself up, if she so desires. This is effective for a brief length of time. Then he returned and begged with her to forgive him, which she did grudgingly after much deliberation. So they've reunited, but this time, they're not fighting as much as they were before. It is my preference to stay out of the conversation when the subject of the side girl is up since it is not my relationship to be involved in. His visits or overnight stays are becoming more frequent at this point, which is fantastic for her. But I'm seeing that with each visit, more and more of my belongings are vanishing from my house, which is concerning to me. Sometimes it's a cup of tea, other times it's a book, and once it was my gaming console in its entirety. As of this point, I was enraged, since he was the only one who had access to the house other than us. Consequently, when assisting with the cleanup of the yard, what do I happen to see hidden in his trunk? My game console, of course. It's a bit scuffed up but still functional, and I finally come to the conclusion that enough is enough. However, I am unable to do anything for the time being due to the fact that I lack proof. As a result, my cousin approaches me once again and asks for my assistance. She claims to have observed him texting and lying to his wife about where he was, as well as texting this other female who she believes to be his girlfriend. Those two seem to be completely ignorant of one another. They are also completely ignorant of the presence of my cousin. So she's decided she's had enough of him and comes to me for advice on what to do next. She will bring his phone to my house, and I will take screenshots of his interactions with these females and email them to my cousin's phone as per our agreement. After that, we'd send the screenshots to the two women and settle down to watch the performance together. He's a heavy sleeper, so retrieving the phone and hauling everything out wasn't a problem for him. Having to wait for things to happen and explaining to these women why he was at our home proved to be the most difficult part. The wife was not satisfied with the outcome. Upon hearing this, the other girl scoffed and hung up. When he returned the next day, he discovered that his wife had prepared all of his possessions for him when he returned. He had a wonderful surprise waiting for him when he returned to her the following day. We know she did since he returned and expressed a desire to stay with us while he looked for a place for him and her to live. My cousin was rejected and their relationship came to an end. Story 2 My wife has been lying and cheating on me for months even after catching her in a lie. In order to get started, I should mention that my wife and I have been married for around 9 months. Having been together for nearly a year and a half, we made the decision to be married. During that time span, we've been living together in Florida for at least a year at a time. I was informed by her around Valentine's Day this year that she desired a break from the relationship since she was unhappy with it, and we both agreed that she should take a break. The fact that she was talking to someone wasn't revealed to me until a few days later, when I received a text on her phone. From someone she referred to as B. It was only when I challenged her about it that she laughed and said that it was just the name of a student she didn't recognize, so she simply filed it away as such. It wasn't until a week later that I saw messages on her phone from a person identifying themselves as Swiss B, all of which had hearts on them. Later I found out it was the same guy she was lying about. She said that it was a man she met on Snapchat 
and didn't really care for at the time of the incident. After that, she requested me to leave because she wanted some space after we had a heated discussion regarding these texts and our relationship. When I returned, I discovered her contacting the man again. I was able to read some of the text messages she sent to him before I left the house. I eventually persuaded her to show me the message, and it was at that point that I discovered that she and him were even, and she acknowledged to me that she had sent him a picture of herself in her underwear. I immediately packed my belongings and boarded a plane to Maryland, where I would spend a few days with my uncle. While I was away from home, I was able to communicate with my wife, who emphasized her willingness to fix the matter and work things out with me. When I pressed her more about Swiss B, she just said that she was not interested in him and only desired that I return to her. My knowledge of his plans to see her in Florida came from her correspondence with him, so I questioned as to whether she had met up with him to which she answered that she had not. I was disappointed to learn that she had not met with him. My inquiry as to whether or not she had ever seen him was answered affirmatively by her, who claimed that she had not. After over two months, she was finally able to convince me to return and continue working on the situation. When I returned, she told me that she was through with him, but I saw that she was still acting suspiciously and stealthily, as if she were concealing something from me. She had gone for a job one day, and when I got at her house, I discovered that she had remained logged onto Facebook. She and a close buddy were having a talk, and I walked in on it. When she said she really liked Swiss B and wanted him to ask her out, she nearly gave herself away. She also said she doesn't feel she loves me anymore and wants to leave me over the course of the chat. As soon as she arrived home, I confronted her about it, and she burst into tears, telling me how she had made a mistake by lying to me. When I informed her I was finished and ready to leave, she confessed that she had realized she wanted to be with me and didn't want him after all. The next day, I realized that she had Skyped him several times. So I decided to give her another chance, which I did until I realized she was still talking to him and Skyping him a week after I gave her the second chance. I begged with her to show me the messages they had exchanged, but she refused to do so this time around. My departure was imminent, so I purchased a plane ticket back to my uncle's place where I would remain until securing my own apartment could be arranged for me. She wept and pleaded with me not to go, but I persisted. During my layover, I made the decision to give her one more chance, so I rented an air in the area to stay and cool down for a couple of days during my layover. As soon as I returned, I discovered from a mutual acquaintance of hers that she had been spending time with the guy while I was away, the first time in THS second. Whenever I confronted her about it, she flatly denied it until I presented her with the facts that her friends had presented to me. To this day, she hasn't recognized anything her friends have told me, and now she's just trying to make me feel horrible for making her detest her friends in the first place. She was the one who messed up, according to her pals, by incorporating them in the story when. She should have just told me the truth from the beginning.